Hi and welcome to my channel. In previous video we did uh, migrate the server with the export command. So in this video I have created a new server uh, and we will uh, try to import what we have exported uh, in the previous video. So let's get started. So here we can see I have now created this uh, new server here. here. Test uh, 2. Uh, and we will try to import what we have exported in the last time. So now we can take full screen here. We can start by opening WinSCP so that we can uh, move the file from the from the first server to the next one. So here we can open first the first one, 00200. And here. So the file is under var and then log and then we can find the, that sms file that we have created uh, here we are so we take this one and now we can close winscp and open it again to open the next server so now we will log in to the new server. 10, 0, 0, 15, and then. So var. So we can use the same uh, the same place log, and now we can move that file there. So now if we look here, if we look here, so cd var log ls, we can see that our file is here, sms, this one, and now we can run the command. So first we need to go to the, to the folder where the script is, so it is uh, dollar sign fw directory. And then we, we can start by dot backslash migrate server. And this time we will import, so import version r8120 and skip the uh, upgrade tool check. Skip upgrade tool check. And then we need to specify the, the, the path to the file. So var log and this. So we can copy paste and press enter here. So now we will see uh, what happens. Okay, so here I have misspelling. It should be tools, not tool. So press enter again. So now it's initializing the import. This process should take some time. So here we need to yes press enter. So this process should take some time. So I will pause the video and uh, come back when it's done. So as we can see here, it's stopping all processes in the server. So here we can see the import operation completed successfully. And now it should be restart the processes. So yes, here. So be aware that you, uh, bo both servers must have the same take. So if if one server had had take uh, f uh, 53 and another uh, 65, uh, the import export will not work. So they should have the same take, the same software version. Okay, so now we can see it is uh, the import operation finished successfully. So no, now we can uh, log in using Smart Console to log into this server. You see that that this server is uh, exactly the same as the first one. So we can check the API status first. So 
Okay, the server is during initialization, so we should wait a little bit until this is ready. So as we can see here, the server is now uh, running and ready. So we can test log in on it. So 15 there. And password. So here, we can see that So as expected, uh, this is the same uh, policy rule as we, which we uh, created in the API series, and uh, that's how you successfully perform a migrate server import, uh, for for example, to a new hardware. By following these steps, you have ensured a smooth transition to the new machine, uh, maintaining the integrity, security. Uh, of your network. Remember to monitor uh, your system closely after the import to catch any issues early. So uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.